back, everybody. Good morning. How's that for a lovely vista? It was more lovely three minutes ago uh, because there was sunshine, but as usual, exceedingly bipolar British weather. The sunshine is already gone. Got Seg, special escort group. Sitting over there watching over the crowd. Just in case there are any naughty people here. We know that uh, security level is super high in London. We've seen it for different reasons over the past few days uh, since what happened in Moscow, of course. Uh, it was mentioned to me in the comments, guys, that one thing I don't say in my uh, amateur videos from Horse Guards is, folks, hit the subscribe button. Um, it's funny because so many of you have mentioned in the comments that I don't say it and I should say it because other people do. I never really thought about it, to be honest. I kind of figured that if you wanted to subscribe, they would subscribe. Uh, but guys, yeah, if you're not subscribed, if you're a regular viewer, click the subscribe button. Why? Because it's free. And I can tell you one small benefit. Um, it seems for whatever reason that people who actually are subscribed to a channel seem to get their videos in 4K way earlier than everyone else. I have no idea how that happens, but it was certainly explained why in the comments some of you were saying, hey, your filming is very blurry today, whilst others of you are saying, hey, it's absolutely fine. Uh, there's no blurring. So that might be a small added benefit, but subscribing, guys, is free. I know the word subscription uh, denotes some kind of payment, but there's no payment. Uh, this channel is free, the content is free, and it will always be free. Now, we've got some police horses this morning. Which ones? I have no idea. This one in the middle is absolutely magnificent. It's so magnificent and statuesque that I'm going to try and ask the officer uh, for the name of her horse. Now, will she tell me, guys, or will she tell me to get lost? There's only one way to find out. Let's ask. Officer, what's the name of your horse? What's the name of your horse? So, oh, this is Zodiac. Ah, okay, thank you. It's, it's Zodiac, guys. A lot of you would recognize Zodiac already. But do you recognize the other two? Well, I didn't recognize that one. And I certainly don't recognize this one either. But glorious Zodiac. Wow. What an absolute beauty. Eh? Really lovely. Uh, I've been so enamored by the police horses that I forgot one important key detail, everybody. Just behind the officer uh, are two more officers. Captains, to be specific. Why? It's a long guard, everybody. Yes, it is. The blues are about to leave. Uh, lifeguards on the right-hand side just arrived uh, to take over. But it is a long guard, which is great, except for one problem. Uh, it's exceedingly windy this morning. Now, what does that mean practically? I don't know yet. We'll have to wait and see. But Horse Guards Parade is looking like an absolute... What's the word I'm looking for? Muddle. Oh, wait. The officer just told somebody to get off. Hold on, I think somebody just actually grabbed the reins. This dude here with the snooker ball head uh, and the blue jacket. He seemed to go forward and I noticed she pulled the horse back immediately. Obviously, the second we walk away, always the way, eh? Never mind. Let's see what sort of naughtiness uh, we managed to stumble across here at Horse Guards today. Uh, <laughs> a lot of you did spot all of the moments in the video that was published yesterday for part two uh, from Monday. That was extraordinary because that video had uh, multiple things. We know there's naughty little chavs at the end, but we also had uh, the guard, the gatesman coming out and saying to everybody, uh, make way for the king's guard. They just stood there like the androids that they are. We also had a miscreant grabbing the reins. Although to be fair, one of you did mention you thought the lady might have been deaf. Uh, very unfortunate, but at least her companion was there. The other bad news this morning, guys, as you can see, I wasn't going to articulate it because I didn't want to worry you all. Doom and gloom. Look at those rain clouds. Okay, we have got spectacular scenes here today. I mean, this is so moody, isn't it? Really, really moody skies. Massive number of people, as you can see. Super bright uh, scarlet lifeguard cloaks. And the Blues and Royals looking rather lovely as well on the other side but a massive number of people. Why? Because we're getting close to Easter, everybody. And one thing I did notice, I'm guessing that uh, any of you that are in Germany, I'm guessing the school holidays, or there's some sort of holiday in Germany? 
either that or it's a coincidence, but honestly, this morning, hundreds and hundreds, all the way in on the bus, on the street, German speakers everywhere. So uh, I dare say there's a reason. Do Germans have Easter a week earlier than the rest of us or something? I have no idea. But let's see if we can get through this tunnel. He just said they're done, look at it. Oh, look. A very lucky tourist came through and said like, wow, what are they doing? I don't know what they're doing. We've got the guard, everybody. He is the last Blues and Royals gatesman out of this tour of duty. But have no fear, the Blues will be back this weekend. Oh, yes, they will. Hey, morning. Super moody skies at the back. It's going to rain though, isn't it's it? It's going to rain later on, yeah. Oh, no. Yeah, it's better to tell you. Your eagle-eyed viewers. Oh, about the... <laughs> about the spelling mistake. <laughs> oh, goodness me. Yeah, I sent them an email yes, actually, the day before yesterday, but, I mean, let's see. I mean, it took how long to get this put up? A year? Well, 18 months. 18 months. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm proofreading. Guys, can anybody spot the spelling mistake <laughs> on the word entrance? Yes, the Household Cavalry Museum entrance. Super spelling, actually. Really good spelling. But hey, the key thing is they're aware of it. Whether they actually want to change it or not, who so knows? The uh, trumpeter was up at 22 11. He was up in the mail today. Really? I stood alongside him for about five minutes. And Damn, that's early, isn't it? Lovely morning. See, we're on super high alert again with lots of officers today. Yeah, I think your other view is a low security alert because of what's going on in the world. Yeah, it makes sense. As long as we're all safe. Hey, how's that for nice timing? Look at this, everybody. Super duper timing. The first lifeguard boxmen are coming out. Wow. I was so excited by the weather, the long guard, the police horses, Zodiac, and the uh, erroneous new sign that I completely forgot what we're here for. The horses. Which two horses do we have this morning, everybody? Not one of them's looking at us already. He's like, what are you doing there? The one on the left looks really elegant. The one on the right, oh, that sort of leakage down the nose. Yeah, somebody said uh, in the comments yesterday, I think it was, like, how, do, how can you not remember blah, 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 oh, folks. Uh, we're typically dealing with about, in a typical week, at least 25 horses. Minimum. Oh. Look at this. Oh, he's having to move them all back. See that? All of these naughty tourists were not behind the white line. And the trooper said to them, behind the white line. But he used the P word, everybody. I'm shocked. I was expecting him to say behind the white line peasants. What he in fact said was behind the white line please. A new era of... Uh, <laughs> pe peasantry and pageantry, guys. Uh, I think was the term I used last week. That's a pity. I far prefer the word peasant than please. It tends to make people's ears perk up a little bit. Behind the white line, peasants. It has more of a ring to it, doesn't it? More authoritative, more royalist than behind the white line, please. Okay, goodbye to Blues Horses. And don't worry, guys, we didn't arrive late and miss Lormond. He's not here. Sunlight is peeking back out at us, everybody. Super do. It was lovely to see that uh, that the guard decided to shout at the tourists to get back behind the line because that's where they belong, behind the line, everyone. And uh, talking about lines and being behind, uh, part of the reason that there's an issue this morning with the white line to my left, uh, typically to my right, but the way I'm filming now it's on my left, uh, is that there are so many people squeezing through this very modest sized tunnel uh, that it's complicated. Now we all know how difficult it can be squeezing something large into a very small space. This is a prime example, okay? I'm not going to draw any other analogies. You can think of one for yourself guys. Uh, wow, it's really packed. Okay. You saw the movement over here. Over where? When they, the horse came out. Ah, yep. That tour guide deliberately had him stand forward. I heard him. To get in trouble? To, to get the experience of being oh, moved morning, back. Good morning, good morning. Hello. Don't even know who that is, guys, but he's just waving at me. So you think that he gave them that? No, no, I heard him. He, he, he positioned which tour, that, which tour guide the is it? The one with the flat cat. English guy? Is he, well, this no, guy here? He, he's, no, he's gone through now. It's not him, this one no, in front, no, 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 no. Next time you see him, point him out, and I'll go and ask him on camera why he's, he feels that uh, 
it's appropriate to put his group not only at risk but to disrespect. I don't want to call it confrontation, but no, no, no. I, you, I you, overheard him. So he did it. He did it intentionally. He positioned him right in that corner, and he said, as the horse came across, he said, in a minute you'll be asked to move back. What an and absolute! It all out. Wow, that is incredible, isn't it? Yeah. Guys, why is it so busy this morning? What on earth is going on? Where are all of these people going? Is there some sort of food, food drop at Buckingham Palace or something this morning? I mean, what on earth is going on with this many people? I'm genuinely shocked. Look at them all. It's incredible. Oops. <laughs> Sorry, Barry. <laughs> We're going to get We're going to get ourselves in trouble in a minute. Wow. I think Colin's up next. Look, he's going to get. He's going to get told to move. Folks, it is ridiculously, mind-bogglingly packed, okay? We're going to concentrate on this quick changeover, along with the zillion people here. Very odd. Okay, let's catch this, uh, this changeover. I'm very interested to see what happens with uh, the new Gatesman. With this many people, it could be... Uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Confrontational. Yep, all of these students, I think, are German. Here they come. It's a posse out to hunt uh, errant German school children that should be in lessons. guys to the tunnel it's not an entrance as the sign says it's the entrance at least until they correct the spelling mistake there goes our last blues and royals until the weekend i'm sure he's delighted i would be delighted folks uh what i going home Now, British soldier versus defensive line of Germans. <laughs> uh, the look on his face. He's like, I haven't been shouted at that loudly since... Actually, let's not go there with the German jokes, but you get where I'm going. <laughs> <laughs> Oopsie, never mind. That's what happens when you visit the UK, everybody, uh, and you don't pay attention to the rules. You get owned. Bro was shook. He was just literally like, oh, what just happened to me? Mummy, daddy. Yep, never mind. It is what it is. Next time he comes to London, he'll remember the soldier that screams in his face and made him age so rapidly. Right, who have we got here this morning? Oh, these brown marks, folks. I'm guessing Trinity or... Uh, got the other one. Uh, <laughs> all right. Dude, it is going to be crazy this morning. At the back is the busiest it's been for months. It is so busy. Got people wearing berets, pretending that they're French, etc. Look, Germans that don't want people to know the German are wearing berets, guys. That way, they will not know. Right, let's see which horse we've got here, folks, before the fun begins. Summer dresses uh, when it's about five degrees. <laughs> Trinity. Folks, it actually is Trinity. So I guessed it right. What a miracle. <laughs> that was a jolly good picture. Well done. Well done, chaps. 
So now we uh, know for a, a fact that some tour guides actively put their group in the wrong place so they get shouted at by the car. <laughs> I would not have believed it. But I did suspect it. And now we've had absolute 100% confirmation that that does happen here. Not cool to be honest, but hey. The other horse at the other end is even more distinctive, but I can't remember. I'm trying my head to remember that horse's name. One that's got like a sort of trickle down the face. We'll see in a second, but anyway, Trinity's back. Remember how curious this horse is, like really curious horse. Thank you. Come on. We did it! Oh, right, we'll see. Is it still spring break, guys? I'm hearing a lot of... Uh, U.S. college students. Trinity is fixated on the camera. When you say the horse's name, it tends to look at you. Trinity, this one. Yeah. Trinity. Good luck, guys. <laughs> okay, I gave them a heads up there because they're lovely American tourists and they deserve a good picture with Trinity. Please tell everybody to get off their bikes and wheel them through. Why is that a good thing? Because this is not a Santander parking station for errant bicycle users, is it? No, it's not. It's lightened up a teeny bit in here. The trooper is being left alone. I'm sure he's delighted. Look, not being pestered at all by any tourists. Will that last? Of course it won't last. This is horse guards. We'll get the rest of the blues going out quite and I don't want to miss the ride in this morning uh, because of the fact that oh, bro wants an interview but dude, I'm sorry I can't interview uh, this is not uh, a documentary about uh, Michigan, Detroit, Michigan sorry so, the long guard will come in I'm hoping guys to be in a good spot for that long guard, however it can't be guaranteed this is why I was a little hesitant to kind of get in the throng and get stuck with uh, people's woolly hats and stuff in my camera. You see? People dressing like they're going to climb Everest when actually they're going to climb a couple of steps. So what have we got here? We've got a little toy. It's funny, you know. Um, I personally would be very shy about bringing my little toys out onto the street. Come on in. German kid in there. <laughs> when when the uh, the new guard came out to go through, like right yeah, right in the German kid's face, he, he, he was completely shocked. He's like, uh, "What just happened to me?" Oh well, never mind. He'll go home and tell his whole village what happened to him when he visited London. That Bavarian village will never be the same, people. Oh, that's a nice outfit. Wild guess, Japanese. How do I know? The boots, that's how I know. Okay, I'm not going to guess the horse, guys. We do know it, and I'm going to feel like a proper idiot in a second when we look at the list. Hmm. Right, let's just double check that. Let's see. Oh! Okay, that's interesting. Now, we did see this horse recently, but for the first time. I was thinking that it's a kind of an old classic, but this, everybody, double checking, yeah, right regiment, is way good. I'm sure we saw this horse recently. I mean, this horse is way too good for us to have forgotten about already. Yeah? Lovely, softy, lifeguard horse, LG, way good. Working very, very hard on getting us a trade deal, free trade deal with Japan. That's the Japanese uh, empress over there, Japanese minister of trade. And they're here, yeah. Our prime minister, Rashi Sunuk, is trying to get a free trade deal with, uh, with Japan. That's why they put way good out, because of all the horses they could have put here. They could have just put a normal horse, that was quite good, but they went all out and chose a horse that's way good. the gap. 
I didn't mean it literally. A few people pouring at uh, a poor Trinity who's looking a little bit dejected already. I always remember that uh, the indent of Trinity's left eye folks. Look at it. It's really big. It's almost like Trinity was born with two eyes. Uh, the guards gouged one of them out and just left one. So how do you know that? This was one of the most painful experiences of my life. John, don't talk about it on camera, please. Okay, I won't talk about it on camera, I promise. Sorry about that. Bennett? Oh. Can you hear it, guys? Bennett? Sorry, I can't speak German, I'm just trying to make it up. I can say Danke though, everybody. That's not the exact word I'd like to use to refer to a lot of the tourists here that are disrespectful. But the right word very much rhymes with the German word Danke. Okay, reinforcements have arrived, guys, uh, in the form of the old trooper. She must have matched her outfit to the lifeguards, I'm, I'm sure she did. Oh yeah, we forgot how curious Trinity is. Remember, always sniffing for apples or other little goodies. I still keep my eye peeled on the tunnel, folks. I think four minutes, give or take, and they should come through. Will we get a trumpet solo in the yard? I don't think we will. However, we might, and that's what matters. Teddy, behind the gap hat, London t-shirt. Here's a question. Which city did that tourist visit? I love very much, I wonder. Okay, Japanese trade delegation are back. but it doesn't rain before we finish today's video. I do have a feeling and the forecast does say rain. And it's quite depressing really because I've been keeping a very close eye on the weather a lot in the last few days uh, because of my pending Parisian uh, trip. But like most of Europe, the next few weeks, it's going to be raining pretty much every single day. What a surprise. I'm still debating whether, I'm gonna wait until two days before whether or not it might be worth moving the tickets. It's super depressing. I mean, Paris is depressing as hell when it's not uh, sunny. It's doubly depressing when it rains because there's not really an awful lot to do, to be fair. If you're going there to enjoy the architecture, you want to stroll around in the sunshine or, at the very least, uh, in dry conditions. We will see. So bad news is that, yes, I might have to delay my trip. The good news is if I do delay my trip, I will be able to be here filming more content for you lovely viewers. So there's always an upside, a silver lining to every grey cloud. Okay, I think word is spread, everybody, among the, uh, among the tourists. And they now understand firmly what happened to the young German Alpine fellow. Now, I'm wondering if the guard is about to move. Nope, he's not. I thought he was. However, the Blues and Royals are moving. Ta-da, look. Let's dash ourselves through to the front. Que bueno, a few Spanish uh, viewers watching uh, and hopefully enjoying. Now, I believe, although I'm not 100% sure, that the corner is closed this morning. But, you know what? There's only one way to find out. By asking. Why do I want to be on the corner? Because we've got the long guard coming in. Let's see. Is it okay to go to the corner? Thank you. I, I've gotten the heads up, everybody. Until somebody more senior comes along and says, no, you can't be on the corner. Get back over there. <clears throat> Let's see. You can see how, how utterly privileged we are to be in this unique spot. Why? Because, everybody, not only, I don't even know what that is. The key thing about this spot is not the window, but that everybody is Karen's jail cell. Yep, 
Karen's jail cell. She is locked down there. Oh, another toy tried to come over here. Look, and she was told no. She was told no, you're not allowed over here. Only people either filming or wearing high-vis workman-style jackets to be undercover are allowed to be on this side. Anyway, any moment, folks, we are going to have the grey and everybody else coming through the tunnel at a leisurely pace. Is anybody going to get stomped? I don't know, that depends. I can't see 100% whether we have anyone else here from Bavaria, but not long to wait. At least it calmed down the teeny bit. We're going to get some good footage of, uh, of the horses coming in. Oops, hold on a second, look. Ah, I was convinced he was going to do it. But no, he decided in the end that he already did enough damage to Anglo-German relations for one day. The ambassador's going to be down here later, lodging a formal complaint. Oh! Jogger thought he was going to jog into the stables. Can you hear it, folks? Oh! Ich! Yikes! That was not the perfectly clean salute that we uh, were privileged enough to be witness to week before last. It was good, but occasionally we have that truly exceptional moment where a trumpeter comes along and you think, why on earth has he not got a recording contract with uh, Sony Classics? Next up, we hear the clippy clop noises, so any moment. Okay, the trooper's coming back in. Now, what might happen between here Da oh, oh. <laughs> it happened again. <laughs> Lifeguards are back on form properly. Anyway, here we are, folks, with a magnificent... Look at this. Yes, good morning to you, beautiful horse. Magnificent trumpeter's horse. Regimental colours. They're all going to line up, everybody. Gosh. Now, of course, there are going to be lots of them. Oh, the, uh, the grey's not in a good mood. He's off. He's just quit. Look. Wow, wait. How's about that, folks, for a Wednesday morning treat? Now you know why I wanted to be on this corner, don't you? Oh, yes, you do. I can just about fit them all in the frame. You're not quite, yeah, I mean, just about. There we are. That's a tight fit. Okay, so, NCO's coming out to take those uh, regimental colours. Golly, uh, there's a lot of people coming through the tunnel right now. Now, luckily, we saw certain members of this troop um, when they were last here, taking absolutely no nonsense. So it's gonna be a good morning, I can tell you that already. I mean, actually, to be fair, it already was. He's off. Super do. Forward the trumpeter, here comes that gray. Look how excited he is to get breakfast. That's one very excited horse. Speaking of which, hold on, Captain's horse is right in front of us, wow. I wish we could see the hoof number actually, I'd love to know which horse the Captain's on. Oh gosh, if he, if he doesn't come back, we can get squashed in the corner if he does. <clears throat> How's that for an absolutely majestic display of British pageantry, folks? Spectacular, it really was utterly spectacular. Really? Okay, so, hey, <laughs> morning, hiya. Right, I'm gonna quickly dash to the front, like really fast, everybody, before this massive amount of people. Look at them all, look. Walking Dead season 27, being shot here at Horse Guards. 
AMC Pictures. Morning. The Walking Dead. We're going to head for Trinity. Why? Because Trinity takes note <coughs> from the tourists. That's why. So I'm going to get us that key spot before a zillion people turn up. Oh, I've got half of you in my pictures, all of them. Oh, really? Yeah, because you were sitting in that Ah, oh, damn it. Look at this, everyone. Look. Okay, get ready. Uh, no. Uh, no. Okay, we've got the guard, the horse, and the gate. Now, if one of you would be kind enough to count how many people are coming out of the gate, actually, you know what? You can't, <laughs> because they're coming out of all of the gates at the same time. My, those fables of free food have definitely spread, guys. I think uh, everyone in Western Europe knows about yeah. it now. Mm? Oh. I will definitely find out in a minute. There's a professional film crew, guys, in the middle of the street. What could they be filming? Have they heard about this certain guy that often is at horse guards filming? Wow, it's crazy, crazy, crazy here. And they're coming through the gate so slowly because there's not enough space physically for them to fit onto their pavement. Or the sidewalk, as uh, you viewers in North America call it. I'd love to interview every single tourist and ask them where they're going this morning. Like, what are their plans for the day? And the film crew. We will go and speak to them shortly, folks. Let's see what happens here. Because at the moment, everyone is just hanging around. They're not even going up to the horse. Which is curious, but we've seen that before, haven't we? Actually, you know what? Let's go and speak to the film crew. Whilst the road is quiet and I can get across. Head out. What could they be filming, I wonder? Guys, are you making a documentary about horse guards? No? Are you? I mean, I am, but I was wondering what you guys, whether you were filming it as well. A fashion shoot? Who's the lucky lady or gent? Anyone famous? No? Ah, oh, damn, I got all excited. I thought it was going to be Kate Moss or, you know, somebody really. Is it not, no? Shame about the uh, weather, though, isn't it, really, to be honest? But, yeah? It, uh, 30 minutes ago, it was super nice here. Now it's a flipping mess. Good luck. Thank you. <laughs> okay, so fashion shoot, guys. Uh, and no, it's not Kate Moss. Uh, alas, never mind. We had to ask. Why did we have to ask? Because I'm a nosy bastard. That's why I had to ask. Right, let's go into the yard. Again. I love the fact that they said, when I said you filmed a documentary about Oscar, I said no. And they said, are you? Yes. I think they were wary that I was putting them on camera, sticking my camera in their face, but as all of you that know me well, no, I don't do that. Unless somebody's being naughty or they're the subject of what I'm filming, uh, I don't include wherever I can, uh, off-camera conversations. Why? Because, you know, I think certain professional standards need to be maintained. Just like tourists maintain a certain professional distance from the guard. That, luckily, everybody, is what the train is for. And that train is up this morning, which is good. Now, we know from what we saw this morning that the guard on this side, our new gatesman, uh, is a bruiser. Okay. He already had to shout twice, and we've barely been 15 minutes into him coming on to duty. On duty, not on to duty, excuse me. On duty. I'm hoping, wait, let me check what time it is. That when he's moving, interesting things will happen. In fact, I'm pretty much convinced. six minutes until the bell tolls. Will he move them? Maybe. But we'll be there to capture it when he does, everybody. Shop's doing a roaring trade, good to see. And the crazy thing is that deluge of people that we saw coming through, that wasn't even uh, primarily the post-palace group. Okay, so we've got a hell of a lot more people coming. Now, the model apparently, uh, <coughs> you might have heard them mention, is called Julia. 
Now, I am wondering actually whether it's Julia, that super, super uh, cute Brazilian that we bumped into late last year doing the fashion shoot at Horse Gods. If it is, I'll, uh, I'll go and talk to her, guys. Lovely Brazilian model, really nice, really, uh, really ladylike. I think they chose just that one name because I don't think there are too many models that are named with just a single name. The man, not very many others I can think of. Anyway, let's focus on the horse and the happy tourists. Oh, that's too close, apparently, someone's saying. I said that bro doesn't get bitten because he looks like a tree in that jumper. Oh, horse is destroying his uh, his Lacoste finery. Flexible little bro there, got himself a good selfie. Okay, let's try and get back kind of in front. Trinity doesn't like a lot of people, guys, remember. Hopefully, they won't be foolish enough to crowd around the horse. Oh, good. Hello, bro, there's someone behind you in your picture. <laughs> <laughs> now there's someone in front of her <laughs> and she's trying to get her picture. <clears throat> oh, good lord. <laughs> Little bro is dressed like it's minus fifty. <laughs> having a moment guys uh, this is that freshly squeezed orange juice that a lot of the tourists come here for yep there it is I'm gonna move the camera up because you don't want to see the toys that drink it guys because they've got no idea where it really comes from that is definitely gonna keep a lot of people back without a doubt look a natural deterrent <laughs> they're right God, that is stinks Oh my god. <laughs> Folks, if I inhale deeply, I'm going to be in hospital. Whoa. No one's getting near that, that horse for probably another 15 minutes. Good lord. Uh oh. How did not smell it? I don't get it. Well, guys, the sun came back. Look. But only for a moment. Rain clouds are still there. Look. Very moody rain clouds. Those clouds are going to do to us what Trinity just did to the pavement. Yep. Cover us in liquid. Sensing a child sacrifice is imminent, everybody. Oh, 
He's a volunteer. Two volunteers. <laughs> the most excited kid ever. He's like, look, look. That's a horse, the thing that you read to me about in the book last night. He's like, no, that's not a horse, that was Peppa Pig. <laughs> that is the most excited kid ever. Duke to King's Guard right there, everybody. We saw it. Okay, right. Uh, no. Uh, no. Oops, they just realised, just in the nick of time. are running out of the way. I like this new style here. Oh, a couple of bros got lost. I think it's a London Marathon. It's actually next month, guys. Come back then. Yeah. Oh, the plume has got somewhat stuck, actually, uh, over the year. I'm not sure if you can see that, guys, in the, uh, in the picture. A little bit of the plume has blown up and got stuck. I'm surprised at all if some tourist goes to pull it out of the way. If the other trooper sees it, he might do it. Look at this, making sure everything is absolutely perfectly placed. Now he's balancing the sword uh, over his shoulder. Uh, that's the third time he's, yeah, he's had to verbalise his displeasure with uh, the tourist population this morning. As long as that's not me. It's good. Gosh, really good to see uh, lifeguards being that enthusiastic. Completely back on form, that trooper. Lovely to see. Really, really good thing to see. And I'm sure that all of you would agree with me. If people don't want to get shouted at, don't get in the way. That's simple. I think they're kind of uh, getting ready for the Easter weekend, guys. They know what's going to come over Easter. We know. We saw it last year. Assuming it's not raining, if it's a sunny Easter break, don't forget we've got Easter Monday as well. It'll be a four-day weekend, realistically. It will be absolutely rammed here. Even more so if it's uh, if it's bright and sunny and dry. It's the fire brigade behind me. Now, luckily, the uh, tourist that just got screamed at has recovered. Look, here she is in her lovely yellow coat. I think she thought about complaining to the police, but then realised there's no point uh, because she can't speak English. Okay, we're back with way good folks. Now, bearing in mind, we've only got 12 minutes until the changeover. Can you imagine that? Only 12 minutes. Somebody's saying, don't touch the horses. That must be one of the new marshals here that they didn't hire to tell tourists off. Also known as a fellow tourist. <laughs> oh, so way good's a nibbler. <laughs> now he's going for this kid's hood. Let's so pull it. Proper nibbler. Yikes, when somebody goes and sticks their kid right in the horse's face, seeing that it's just been nibbling people. Mm -hmm. 
He's going to go flying if he does. Torgo should be more careful. Very lucky, actually. If the horse had been a bit more curious, that lady or the or the gent here with the stick would have gone flying. Uh oh. I think the tall guy would have mentioned that beforehand, there. Especially as the fellow has a, a hearing aid, he wouldn't probably have heard the guard giving the instructions. That was on the toll guide, not on him at all. Snorty, naughty, naughty. Oh, the stableman today, the lifeguard stableman is uh, is a stable woman, in fact. That's rare for the lifeguards, very rare. We'll see her in a minute when she comes back. She just opened up the boxes. The thing is, what people don't realise, guys, is that the ground slopes very quickly from those cobbles. One day, it hasn't happened yet, but one day, someone is going to take a step back and go flying. It's absolutely guaranteed. The old gent is absolutely enamoured with the horse, bless him. Right, so we've got the change in just a few minutes, people. I'm quite excited, actually. Why? Because, interesting as it is to see Trinity and Waygood, it'll be even more interesting to see who replaces them. I don't think having just come on duty, they're already going to change the gatesman and the chitsman. I really hope they don't. All being well, we'll go into probably a part two this morning. I notice when the days are crazy because, my goodness, the time goes by so, so, so unbelievably quickly. Oh, sorry for that guy's fat head, folks. Just lost the uh, focus for a moment. Talking about focus, look at these two. Ooh. I thought we might have Brutus for a second, it's not Brutus, but two other beauties. That's Brutus, not Brutus. Okay, so there's still, oh wait, there's that, there's our fashion model. I think she's arrived. There she is, look. Ah, wait, is that actually the model? No, it can't be, surely. Oh, it is. Ah. <laughs> wait, they're filming a walking across the road. Oh, here we go, look, get ready for it, wait, okay, look. This is the reality of a fashion show, guys. It looks kind of all exclusive and, you know, this and that and the rest of it, but it's actually rather mundane and hard work. Okay, so here's our model, crossing the road, looking like super moody and stuff. And it probably she's mistimed it and the traffic's about to move. Ah! Oops. 
some stupid idiot on the motorbike just said something bad to her. You see the look on her face? I couldn't hear what it was that he said. But this is the reality, guys, of being a model. It might seem to be super glamorous, super exciting, super this and that, but you know what? It actually isn't. Now, why do I know that? Not just because I'm standing here filming a girl standing at the, uh, at the level crossing, but... Actually, should I? I mean, no, it doesn't, it doesn't matter. Let's just say that I spent a good decade of my life uh, dating a professional model. And it's funny because it really isn't glamorous at all, okay? Lots of flights, lots of long hours, lots of shoots, and some of the time, complete assholes that don't even bother to pay the fee. <laughs> Wait, where's the where's the stroll? Wait, so she like pretending to walk across the road? Okay, I've already had enough. You get the point, guys. It's boring as hell being a model. It really is. Let's not forget that the vast majority of models make basically zero money anyway. Uh, but if you're truly exceptional, uh, you can have a very nice life. I took lots of them, so... Um, oh, excellent. You did. And we're back. And they're still taking the same shot with her stepping off the curb. It's not, by the way, the, uh, the model I thought it was. Look Brazilian to me, but it's not the same one. Okay, so we've got a trooper in his camos out doing crowd control. Let's go and have a quick look at this. Is he going to tell all of these people to get their whatevers behind the goddamn line? There we are, look. He is. I'm guessing fresh back from armoured division in Bulford and ready to take no nonsense from tourists. That's more like it, isn't it, folks? This is what we were hoping to see over Easter going into the summer. Exactly, that's it, you tell them. Uh, I'm kind of a little bit torn, guys. I'm kind of excited about being in the yard for this, but at the same time, I don't want to get trapped. Especially if we've got an extremely obnoxious tall guy over there who's very loud with his group and lines them all up. Look, it's a pity, actually, that the... Uh, that the gatesman is not going to move. I don't think he will because that's a good group to get out of that. Tourist stopping uh, and thinking that the serving trooper is a tour guide. It's always time for me to move guys because at the moment I'm at the gate and I can't be in the middle. So I'm either inside or outside. I'm going outside. And I'm going to go outside at this end to see which horse comes out first. In a minute, everybody's going to get told to get behind the bollards. Yes, they are. It's a bit a little bit over that way because at the moment the sun's in the. Uh... So, I'm now firmly behind the bollards. Look. And he gets his hope she's going to replace Trinity. I'm hoping secretly it'll be two in it. Been a while, but and then it's obviously tempted to tell them, but didn't. Probably a dad didn't want to embarrass the dad in front of his uh, of his kid. Diplomacy. Yeah. 
somebody to my right is tempted to go for a picture. If she comes, she's going to get told off. Sure. Oh, I can't decide. <laughs> they got lucky. I think they're so focused on the crowd inside, actually, this morning, that they're kind of not so bothered about what's happening out here. That said, it'll probably change once the horses are actually outside of the stable gates. Horse is sensitive to the mess that, uh, Sorry, guys. that Trinity has made. They're not listening, look. Yeah, I wonder if the uh, horse is very sensitive uh, at the smell of other horses' uh, urine. The question is. I, mean, I wouldn't think that if I thought they would be but sensitive in the sense of liking it or disliking it. Because there's still that awful, massive mess on the floor. She just saw some little uh, jet washes that are triggered by, uh, by a certain scent. Very sorts. Oh, that's a naughty tourist at this end about to get in trouble. Look. <laughs> there's always one. is imminent folks. Just so on fact because there's a massive number of people here but I need to move and they're all stuck. Do your posts. actually just how massively large Trinity is. Really, really big horse. Remarkably familiar. The name of this one is. <laughs> She's already looking at the camera, folks. A very warm welcome back. A lot of you know which horse this is already, don't you? Yep. It's Radom, guys. AKA Army. Wow, what a surprise. It's very, very coincidental that because so many of you actually were mentioning this in the comments over the past week. I noticed it even in some of the older videos, whether or not um, Radon had been in the Elizabeth Cup prep. Short answer, no. I'm pretty sure she wasn't. But goodness gracious. That's great news. Super happy that she's back. Like, really, really happy. Uh, and unfortunately... Unfortunately, because we're not in to watch it, they are actually bringing out uh, a new Gatesman and Chitsman. Ah, bah. Well, I'll do when they go to the tunnel, folks. I'll see if I can dash through real quick. But we definitely want to keep an eye on what's going to be happening here with Rodden this morning. Great to see her back. Looking absolutely glorious as well, by the way. Looking far, far darker. Looking really dark, actually, now compared to her colouring earlier on. She's looking at the camera, she's like, you, I think you remember me. <laughs> of course I'm back. I've just been hanging out with Ormond in the stables. We didn't feel like working, but now we're back, ready to deal with the tourist problem. Outside here, folks, this is what we've got along the road, yeah? It's completely packed. Inside the yard is the same. Absolutely chocker. 
and here. So I'm thinking, actually, I'm not going to risk going into the yard and losing this spot. I'm going to stay right in front of Radon. Uh, and shortly, there will be a part two, everybody. And that part two is going to be pretty much uh, a Radon men mentory. Yep, a documentary about Radon and the way she deals with tourists. The only unknown variable is whether any of said tourists are going to bother to turn up and get in front of the horse. We will see. I also like the fact that this very serious trooper uh, is on Radon. We chose the right end, didn't we? Yes, we did. Okay, so we are right bang in the middle now, which is precisely what I hoped for. This huge number of people. I don't know if they're going to try to go to the horse of pictures or whether they're going to go into the yard. But goodness me, they've almost finished inside. And then, uh, boom, it's going to begin. I'll be back for that, folks, in just a moment in part two. Bye for now.